Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you all my hydrogen powered rover. Uh, it's a really, uh, not really I guess wouldn't say 100% unique, but it's a, it's pretty nice. I've worked really hard on this rover. It has a nice beautiful windshield, it's got a passenger seat. Now, if you get shot here you'll probably die, but you know it, it, it's, it's more for aesthetics than it is a uh, you know, war. You know, uh, it's kind of, it's got a turn on it so you know you're not completely defenseless. It's powered by two hydrogen engines has a couple hydrogen tanks, has four small batteries just to keep it on. The hydrogen engines are actually what pretty much keep this thing alive. Uh, you have to refuel it from this connector here at the base. Um, it does have quite a lot of lights all over it so like you can uh, real quick one second. So if you turn the lights on it lights up a decent amount of area around you so you know you can you know if you're trying to find somebody so they can see you and then if you just want to, you know, completely disappear a bit, you know. You know, so down, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll show you guys the spinning footage of this that I have inside the factory. I built a little, like, lazy Susan table. Um, but yeah, this, this little guy, I'll try to hit some bumps with it, but I don't want to, like, blow up. Because I know with my luck it will break. Yeah, its suspension could probably use a little love here and there. Ooh, but uh, she she is speed capped at around I think 30 something. That's just because after she gets faster, it might be 40. Yeah, it's 40. As soon as you try to turn going faster than this, and if you try to like turn with your mouse too hard, as you can see, it's already. Oh, ooh, somehow she made that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna call that a win. <laughs> ooh, that was. Whoa, what? Oh, okay. Okay, game. You know, typical Space Engineers Day. Like like I should say in all my videos, uh, clang with clang. Every, everything can come with some some small amount of clang. But uh, you'll be able to find the link for this, uh, the Steam and the mod.io in the uh, links in or in the comments in the description. Uh, so, you know, try it out. Uh, give me some feedback on it. Tell me uh, what you think I could do to improve it. It would be really nice to hear some feedback. Uh, my modular tank video just came out probably uh, a week or so before this video, so um, hopefully that did okay. Um, if you guys want to see any particular things that I'm building, uh, I have a couple other rovers and I have two ships probably coming up. Uh, ignore ignore the beautiful base back there. You know it's 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 still being assembled. Oh, and there is a video on that little guy right there coming up as well. Oh, and uh, before the video ends, uh, I have these special connectors here specifically for refueling them. Uh, unfortunately, when I built them, I didn't realize how close they are, so it's a really snug fit, but it works, you know, just uh, like this thing I built right here. Uh, some items in this base are kind of from the workshop. I think I, 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 I built this earlier, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll leave you guys on the amazing view. But uh, come join our server. Uh, you can find it uh, in the server list. It's a crossplay server. Uh, it's Ken Dog's Kennel. Uh, come on and join us. You know we're, we're looking for some people. Isn't it so beautiful? Uh, it's a very nice day in Space Engineers. I hope you guys are having a very nice day. Like, comment, and subscribe.